I am a, I'm basically a very aspiring activist. I would like to call myself an activist. So I can go to the ground. But the aspiration is towards completing that journey of becoming an activist. So activist support, you know. So conservation and sustainable development is a good value. In activism, there are many people who are மைனிங் <laughs> <laughs> Say English army for. I, uh, I basically want to be called a very perfect activist. So, uh, Monica, you attend other sessions so that you'll inform me about it. Go. Thank you. So, night of a boxing remote. So, being an being wanting in aspiring to be an activist there are a lot of questions that come in our way a lot of lot of questions people pose and a lot of uh, very odd type of questions in our own. very odd type when we fight against congress they'll say you are a rss guy bjp guy when you fight against bjp what are they in a rahul gandhi much uh, then when you take on jail the ah, dm king wah. when you take on left then they'll say mamta Banerjee. So these kind of questions come which are very inane, very, very stupid. But there are some very right questions also that people ask. What do I do? How do I take my car out if you don't want a tree to be cut? How do I not drive at 70 kilometers of speed? How do we not mine resources? How does the country GDP grow? All these are very, very sincere questions that people pose. So we have also been able to answer that. So on one hand, we have been little successful in, uh, actually presentation is very poor. I'm, I'm very poor, sorry, I'm going back to Tamil again. I'm very poor at presentations because my hold over any language is very poor. So I will uh, like sort of start like this now. This doesn't sound good at all. So I'll start like this journey. In from 97, I was thrown out of my college in 96 because I started questioning some things in the college. Uh, the, the correspondent, the way used to dress, they used to come inside. So I wanted to question that. Uh, he used to come like this. Hey, go into Urma. So I was like, what is this boss? We are not allowed to wear waisty and not wear shirts like this and you suddenly come in like this. So we ended up in a fist fight and then there was a strike and I was thrown inside the jail. So that was the first time I saw the violence of the state in terms of how false cases are filed upon people. Uh, so I was quite young at the time. I was 19 years old, 1920. So when I saw how state it becomes violent, how it suppresses voice, that came out as a good example for me. So then I wanted to do something, so I started planting trees, believing that trees are the solution for all problems. Some ranger said 33% forest area and the nard will become, the country will become most developed. Well, that strike the chord, that made a lot of reason also, but the only thing is that 33% belongs to whom? That was the question. And the remaining 67% belongs to whom? This question or this answer that I started seeking came after 2004. Uh, Nithya Nanjaya Ram I met that fellow. My wife was still scolding me. Na Nithya Patana Udoye Matana. Thank God Nithya left. I should have fought with him. So Nithya was a bad inspiration in my life. So then I started looking at asking questions, seeking answers. So after that, I started to look. Nithi came to my house one day, one fine day. Uh, I was uh, I was having a bandage on my leg. I had broken my leg and the hand. So he said, "And na pandrana." I said, "Na iklo maran natrke. Na urlo chamaran natte." I've been planting trees. I go up in the morning. I work out, and my body is so strong and all that. No, really, if you want to become strong, then please plant trees because that's the only way. Manu taniyu oramla pannu. No, kal kai yipdila suti yipdila pannu na unnu me avar dilay. I've seen so many people doing yoga, walking all their life, jogging all their life, and the tapa apniye irko. And in a cop forest, all those gym bodies fail very badly. Okay. And all those gym bodies fail very badly when they come to cop forest. When it comes to taking one pot of water up the hill, then they really, their real muscle tones really come down. So 
they have been a big inspiration for me in this mid journey in Solidam. Between 97 and 97, August 15th, I went up the hill with one laborer who was 70 years old and I had to sit down three times on the way. And my mama is very, very careful about my eating habit. Badam pistala daily, you real badam vipang hai. You will have pista sapunong wang hai. So all that badam pista, between all that, I realized that what has come out of the sedji is nothing but air inside. So started taking garapar in my hand and it was really a lovely revelation that your body really becomes strong when you touch mud and water. So anyway, coming back to 2000, where was I? Coming back to 2000. Ah, Nithi Kuda. So I was bragging to him about all this tree planting journey and all. Then he said, boss, that's all very good. I'm very happy about it. Some of this water that you are drinking has a little cyanide mixed with from Kempla Sanma. There's a company called Kempla Sanma in Metu. And he adds a lot of mercury also to your soil. And mercury, one gram of mercury would spoil 25 acres of lake. And he would have added some thousand tons of it. I was like, what is this? You are coming from outside, you are teaching me. I don't believe you, I'll go with you. What is the color to it, Manisha? He took me there with my broken leg. He showed me metal around. And real face of corporates dawned over. And there's another big dawn there, Vedanta. You have heard of Vedanta? Anil Agarwal. So, Anil Agarwal is one big bugger. He is in London, Stock Exchange, as East India Company is. Chidambaram is his servant. Uh, he was a director of Vedanta, then became the finance minister, then also became the home minister, went out to be the home minister. So Vedanta is Malco, Balco, Sisagova, Sterlite, uh, Kane India, Hindustan Zinc, and other companies which I don't know of, but he's a big leader in all metals and commodities. And, and by the time the struggle was going on, uh, I, I joined Niti in the struggle of how they go on. Niti is a very technical guy. That is a very big guy, found a very big fault in his approach. So we used to argue on it. Why do we have to go with so much technicalities of taking samples, taking reports, filing reports, having public hearings and all that. But I understood later that it's very, very important to do all that. But in the meantime, 2008, there was a mining application of Jindal Steelworks. Jindal Steelworks had applied for a Ganjamali mining of 6,000 acres, which is near my city, just five kilometers away. So I went there, I called up Niti as usual. Because Supreme Court Empowerment Committee had come to inspect and only then we knew that the mining application is there. So all the process were over. The initial process were over, only the Central Empowerment Committee had to give the sanction. I just called him and said, Mudiyoma. He said one line, Makkal Nansha Mudiyom. That was one thing he said. Makkal Nansha Mudiyom, very good. Then we will take on the Makkal itself now. So 1500 rupees was what I have spent totally. I had an old Jeep. I went around. I used to have Bhopal banners around the Jeep. Bhopal, the child who had died, I used to have it. So immediately when I went to the people, people knew that someone has come, but he's not a company guy. Elity said to Jindal and Amsir Ghana and Ketanya. Jeep of Pathavad and they saw my Jeep and they were very convinced that this fellow is not from the company. He means something. So we, in one week time, one week time, I have all this on paper, on record. I'm not lying to you. I lie a lot, but this is not a lie. <laughs> one week time, as soon as I went and spoke to the people there, we organized 1,500 people. We organized a protest. I said we will go to the collectorate to protest. The police got wind, wind of it. The police had stationed it the place uh, at the collectorate site. And as we are coming inside the city, I took a detour. I took all of them to the DFO's office. People were surprised. But then there was no police there. So we occupied the DFO's office. A nice protest happened. All of them filed RTAs. 1,000 RTAs by file, each one wanting to know about their own status. Once you occupy, then the police can come and only watch the show. So 17 tables were put, receipts were written, given to us. Evening 5 o'clock, we all made merry and went home. Next two protests went on like this. DD Mines office and collector's office, we locked up. Collector was locked up for the whole day. They gave us some damning documents on how Stalin, Jindal Steelworks, and Salem Steel Plant had very miserably gone on with the application process. They could have gone legally with it, but you know, corporates have this thing no, about illegally doing things. Otherwise, for them, no, food doesn't digest for them. If it is legal, then they become very like, oh, how can I do things legally? So that is the nature of corporate. So then this whole thing was stopped immediately. They would do the mining project. And this became a very big boost for people around. Like Salem, Salem started having confidence a little bit. And 2009, we were able to shut down the Vedanta project. Vedanta Malko was shut down in Salem. 
because of our RT application. You would have heard of one Mr. Sagayam, very famous Sagayam. He didn't help us at all. He still brags about having shut down Malco. But what, in, when he was a collector, I had filed an RTI in the Pollution Board Office. We did not receive the documents. I was asked to wait, and I waited very sincerely. I used to take a pie, Anda, Gunda, Tiffin box, everything, go and sit in the Pollution Board Office. I did this for two days. Third day, I said, sir, you please leave. I will act as watchman and sleep here. You don't have to worry about it. So there was a big pressure on them. The police came. Uh, the police didn't do anything, thankfully, to me. But I was handed over the documents. One letter of Anil Agarwal had written that. One letter had written that, uh, boss, uh, I want this, 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 this permission of six departments. DD Mines, Hill Area Conservation Act, uh, Pollution Control Board, uh, the, the, the Mining Department, two more, MOF or something else. Six departments, I do not have this, 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 this permission. And by the time I do not have this, 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 this permission, please allow me to mine. 400 lorry loads every day from a very, very, very Shola forest hill called Koli Hills. So it was mining there. So we were able to win the case actually against Nalli Chidambaram represented by Vedanta in the Chennai High Court. The judge said, actually, please, paper I will start your mining process. And then we went. Uh, after winning the case, where he, the Vedanta had given an undertaking that I have committed a crime, I have been mining illegally, I will not mine hence further, we went with this to the same collector. Sagan said, we have won the case, stop the mine, and file the cases against him. It has been four collectors since Namakal has, it's in Namakal district. Uh, it is my mistake also, I have been a little lazy about it. So we have not been able to make them file a case on the crime committed. The theft has stopped. He has stopped thieving, but he has not been punished for it. Anil Agarwal must have to spend time in Salem jail or Namakal sub jail, wherever he pleases. But that is bound to happen, for which we will need volunteers. That is where. A lot of documentation happens. No, I said no. I didn't first believe in Niti for reporting, cataloging things, which I still suffer from. Now, in 2010, uh, I went to Chhattisgarh. And in, in this meantime, we used to do solidarity protests for many issues, like Nandigram, when Nandigram happened, we printed books, went inside the CPM meetings, sold them books on why Nandigram is a bad thing. So they will come and beat us up. We will beat them up. So all this will lead to police cases. So I had six or seven cases against me. One case was very interesting, where I put a banner of Manmohan Singh on three monkeys, saying that you cannot hear, you cannot listen, you cannot talk. So we need emergency situation is that the Prime Minister needs medicines. So expiry date medicines will do. No one came to see the banner. No one, no, I call the media people, no one came. Congress people came and the whole media landed up. They tore the banner, they burned it off, they broke my jeep glass. I had to spend 800 rupees. But uh, it went state, it made statewide news. We were very happy about it. So these kind of actions had accumulated a lot of cases. So in one particular instance, when I went to Chhattisgarh, Dantewada, I found it very, very disheartening to see how corporates of this country have, have actually uh, displaced 3 lakh, 4 lakh tribals in one district alone, out of a population of 7 lakhs. One district has a population of 7 lakhs, and you have displaced 4 lakh people out of their homes, which are forests. So which was a very, very distressing fact for me. You see the richest places having the poorest people. Now, I, I we will come to it again if you ask questions on that. But I came back to Salem, I went to the Republic Day Parade, I told what Burning Republic Parade people are celebrating. India needs peace, stop the war against Indians. I printed a notice and went there, I had a t-shirt written on it. I was planning to pedal from Salem to Sivagandhi, Chidambaram's constituency. At the time Chidambaram was the Home Minister. So an uh, inspector came, hit me, I hit him back and uh, I went to jail. I was arrested under sedition. So 2010, the sedition case on case came on me, and then we realized, okay, was Binayak Sen in making again, two years in jail, and everyone panicked. So it didn't, no, not a single media covered it, but what happened was, Salem people started taking notice of it. They all came around, they said, why are you in jail, boss? Kya kiya, kyon kiya, Sedjis came, doctors came, many middle class population came around, and then the left also helped us, like Kolathur Maniyanna is a very strong activist 
and lot of these people came along. So Salem Citizens Forum came into being. Salem Citizens Forum came into being in 2010. The collector would have felt a little change of heart, saying that he's arrested an organic farmer just for nothing with the charge of sedition. So he gave us, grant, granted us permission of a lake called Mukaneri. It was a very, uh, sorry, I'm very bad at presentation. So please, you do your own research on whatever I said to you people. So, but this is, uh, this is one lake, it's not lake here, but this is a complete garbage, uh, garbage sort of accumulated lake. We went there, it was dry in 2010. We handpicked the garbage, 750 people got down to clean it up. Then we bought machines and then, then islands were created like this. Next, next. This was the machine that we used. Next. And then in three months time, we planted, this is not three months time, I would be lying actually. This must be after one and one and a half years. But the trees, when you plant trees on a lake bed, it, it grows very fast. It, it grows around one feet per month. So in six months time, we had trees that were eight, nine feet tall, and then they stabilize. Now they have stabilized. It's been five years in Mukuneri now. We created 45 of these islands in one lake. So funded by the people completely. Uh, school children came, planted trees with us. This is another, uh, this is one small pond that I have restored now. Next. This is another lake. This is, after Mukuneri came Amapet Lake. This had three feet of slush. Uh, the whole city garbage comes into this lake. It still comes in. We have a lot of filtering work to do that we missed out. But we were able to hand pick all the plastic trash on this lake body, water body, 39 acres. Hand pick it for 40 weeks, 400 people came every week for 40 weeks. And this 39 acres was restored. We have created 39 islands here. We had a double decker island now. After, no, one should actually show off something, no? <laughs> then now we will make experts in this. So we put a double decker island. Next. That is Amapeta Kumaragiri Lake. They have a separate page there. Yeah. So next. So this is a pond that we took up now. Recently when actor Karthi came to Salem, so we wanted to start something. So this there's one lake opposite Pallapatti Eri, which is very contentious now. We have been we have been asking the government to either restore it or give it to us. So we have taken several protests for it also. Just last week we went inside the police station and gave a complaint against the district collector and the corporation commissioner for putting ditch water inside a water body. So, so to start off with the local population there, next, we have taken up this small pond, desiltered it, next, and, and water came immediately to this site. Please clap, people. <laughs> next. So these are the birds in Amapet. One nice fellow clicked all this and gave to us. So in a ditch now, there are up to number of birds that have come and that's the that was how that column was that small column Next. and and one interesting part of the small ponds is keep going Next. Next. oh no where did all the picture come from This was how it was one, one another pond in Salem. So we have two lakes, and uh, this is the third water body that we went with. Arsipalitul or Tepakulor. Next. This is how it has become now. We have 23 steps. We just picked up the plastic without rain, the water came 10 feet high. Just picking up plastic. We just cleaned up the plastic and one week time we saw the water rise for 10 feet high. So plastic is a big clogger. Thermocol is a big clogger. Just clean it up, it makes a lot of difference. Yeah. Before that, now we'll come to a it. This footpath that we've laid is full of uh, young fellow had asked me what do you do with plastic trash? So plastic we there's no solution to it at all. You have a big complex problem, don't look for easy solutions. So we just dump the plastic here on the side of the lake and we have laid a footpath on it, a walking track has been made. So that is all we can do. This will be leaching down, polluting the water, there's no other go. You have to take it on your head. Before this. Yeah, and we'll leave it at that. Yeah, so oh, we'll leave it at this, at this, at this. 
So um, after this, in, but between 2010 and 11, as I said, there will be a lot of answers. No, activism is one thing. So conservation models we have done very beautifully. We have almost done north of Salem, east of Salem, uh, north another lake. We restored eight kilometers of stream. Then we found that the MLA present Mohanraj Alagapuram and MLA is actually encroached on it. Seven acres. So I put up a hut encroaching his land, on his land. So the case is going on, but the previous collector was there, one thief collector was there, Magrabushnam. So this Magrabushnam has ruled Salem for four years, the longest any collector has done in independent India. Pakka uh, Amma, he, he'll be very perfect in his receipts and uh, giving and taking. Every rupee will be accounted, and uh, his perfection, Amma did not transfer him at all. In spite of the fact that we put posters around him, we put posters about him, we released books about him, we couldn't actually get him transferred. Uh, that man gave a very, very supportive report for the encroachment of a water body, for that MLA. So that case is going on. So that we have left in abeyance. But after the third, uh, that was the one, Mukhaneri, Ismail Khaneri, Amma Pateri, then Archipalam Tapukulam and Palapati Tapukulam. So we are in the fifth water body, and sixth we are asking as Palapati area now. 160 acres we are asking. And it has been a very, very easy journey. This has been the most easiest thing to do. There has been no, uh, not a single time that we have uh, felt very uncomfortable about it. Every Sunday we come together, we drink Kambakul, we make Neri, and there's a big amphitheater there. Please look at Mukaneri. Huh? There's a lovely video going on, Mukaneri 360. A 20 minute video with aerial shots. You will all love it. So, uh, that, uh, don't miss out on that. So, this is no big deal actually. And when we, uh, Selva was mentioning about the Gandhi Stadium flood thing that happened, there was this girl, Champaka, who came home one day and said, oh, Uncle, something I should have done on the flats. I said, Your architect designed a tabula. We'll start off. So, that triggered an idea. Why not do it? And we made a call to the collector. We told we are occupying Gandhi Stadium. We didn't take permission. We said we are occupying the Gandhi Stadium and we are opening a relief center there. So we just marched in, went in, bought a bamboo load, uh, bought a lorry load of bamboo, started making rats. And people who were around, Facebook post and people all came. So we had 600 people any time of the day for the next 15 days, sorting, receiving packages and all that. So that was one revelation. That is also not a very difficult thing to do when it comes to uh, collecting volunteers, uh, talking about pain of people uh, when, when flood or crisis situation happens. But where the real problem is that you don't get volunteers this when we put about uh, issues like anything that deals with corporate, anything that deals with organized religion, anything that deals with party politics, anything that deals with the government's issues, there's a very, very slow interest of people. Why it is the most rewarding? I told you the stories, we have collected 2.5 crores still now from the people and have restored 58, 39, 16, 58, 39, 16 would be 105 acres of land, 105 acres of land and two ponds. This is costed two and a half crores. But for Malco that I informed you of the RT application that we filed, I had to spend 2,000 on one RT application, 1,000 rupees on high court stamp duty and 5,000 was paid to the lawyer after we won the case. So 8,000 rupees in total, and not 5,000 as cash. I eaten the bamboo blinds. Made a profit of 500 on that also. <laughs> so in 8,000, we have been able to defeat the biggest corporation of this country, which is Vedanta. For Jindal, we had to spend only 1,500. Then I had to take this fight to Tirunamalai, because they had applied for Tirunamalai also, Kauti Malay, Vedipan Malay. So that was also a very, not a very uh, expensive job. That didn't take much of our finances. But activism gives us the best results. Just imagine, 8,000 rupees, 600 acre mining stock. 8,000 rupees and further 1,000 acre mining stock more. And that is 200 of crores and reviving of 100 acres of land. You know, there's big difference, isn't it? But all are important. Activism needs the support of conservation and sustainable development. So that we, un we understand how it deals with. Uh, corporates are engaged only in loot and only can loot. They can only thieve from this country. They cannot make a profit on their own. We can challenge them. Ambani uh, has got restructured loans now. Every other person listed in the shop, you take back his money, you tell them to repay your capital, and there will be a loss. 
It is a money rotation thing that they are doing, and the level playing field that they enjoy is very high. But the level playing field for me as a farmer, for my living that I do, is very low. The level playing field that you have got is something that is very lopsided. So for me, for me, volunteering would be mean that we safeguard water and soil of this land and ensure that after safeguarding or while safeguarding, a parallel story, while safeguarding soil and water, we ensure it is equitably distributed amongst all. So that is very important. Tatas have got lakhs of acres in Munnar. I don't know how we got hold of that, that kind of land. It's absurdly vulgar to hand over lakhs of acres to one corporate. Vedanta was mining 400 lorry loads every day from Erkad and Kohli Hills, Shola Forest area. But the same tribal cannot bring one single twig of Lantana Kamara. Lantana Kamara is a species to be eliminated. They cannot bring one single twig from the hills to the plains because there is a Hill Area Conservation Act in place, which does not apply to mining. That's how they say. It was very interesting when I asked them. When you read the Hill Area Conservation Act, it will say soil erosion to prevent soil erosion, one has to take permission and permits have to be issued to ensure that no activity causes soil erosion. I asked, sir, soil is being bought from up there. Sir, soil erosion is not a soil is not a good thing. This is something very, very, it's, it, it is very absurd. We are living in stupid times. We are living in absolute stupidity. Not one corporate model can, you cannot explain one single corporate model to have bought in or ushered in development. You create a problem, you create a set of problems because of your own misdeeds and then you search for solutions and in the side all the CSR bullshit is going on now, then you sort of whitewash crimes in a very different way in terms of employment. One crore is what is needed for one corporate to employ one person. One crore. Recently, Jelta had this global investors meet and uh, 10,000 crores is what his commerce investment was, the full page newspaper. 10,000 here, number of employed people, 12,000. I got worried. I said, my students will beat me up. I organize camps for children. I keep saying one crore per job. And this is 85 lakh per job, no? So my statistics have gone wrong. So I looked a little deeper. Where have I gone wrong? This 10,000 crore had four shoe companies, Indian companies, that has employed, at 250 crores, he's employed 5,000 people. So if you leave the shoe company apart, your corporates who have invested 9,750 crores and employed 8,000 people. So I was not wrong again. So I'm, I was really, very really safe. And at one lakh in my bamboo unit, I am a bamboo grower. This is, my, this is a picture from my farm. I'll tell you where I posted this picture. So uh, I, I'm a bamboo grower. I make furniture out of bamboo. So for me to invest one lakh, I am able to give a salary of one lakh every month now. Really clap for this. Yeah. One lakh, one lakh. Come on. At one lakh investment, I'm giving a salary of one lakh every month. Yeah? At 20 people employed. We are paying them low. We may be paying average 5,000. But these are women who have their farms near my farm there in the rural place. They rat goats, chicken. My main designer gets 11,000 a month. He has his own uh, house has been given to him. He rears his goats, he rears his hens and all that. They share the produce on the farm. So you can do multiple activity. See in a rural area, if a rural area is rural, like a rural area, with little water, little soil, little trees around, what will happen is, even the, the, the grandmother will be making good money. Uh, Chinmay came to me, my son Chinmay. You can also write to him. He's called Chinmay Cool in uh, Facebook. So Chinmay is a, 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 he's an eighth standard. Suddenly he came to me very excitedly. He said, what happened to you? Said, Papa, uh, me and my wife always are fighting on money. Because I sort of, I'm a very rich guy. I'm not poor in any sense, actually. I, I, but I'm, I'm, but my, all my investment goes into this piece of land, which is 250 acres now, a cooperative forest that I'm developing. So he came to me, Papa, uh, Nadia's party, Papa, she's making good money. I said, how? Oh, she, she showed me the calculation, Papa. She's making 11,000 from her flock of goats. She takes the goats to graze and then she comes back with mangoes. She sells those mangoes also. I sat there with her 
uh, work economics is very good. 400 rupees per day uh, running income. It's a very good if a person is remained 12,000 a month. But Papa, you don't make that. No, that's what mommy is saying me. <laughs> so he was like, you're not even making that. Fine. Yeah, true. So sustainability, sustainable development is a question that we have to address. Very, very importantly. So for me, conservation return has been solved. The people can take over resources, people can execute good projects, and why not for the sake of only that the quality of water and quality of air improves in Salem. The quality of space is improved in Salem. Now, Mukhaneri is one place where we have a big amphitheater there. We call for a meeting, 1,000 people come. We talk what we want to talk. These are become public spaces now. Otherwise, to seek for a meeting, you need a permission, isn't it? Every organization where, now, this is the last time I will be called to IAB, hopefully. So, uh, every organization, every public uh, group need a lot of uh, space to call their own. So this has been very successfully done by us. We have created so many spaces around there where people come together and then it depends on how much people talk about these issues. Because even in spite of how romantic this lake work may be, Amapet people do not come to Arsipalim Takapalam. Pallapati people do not come to Mukhanen. Mukhanen, there's some trouble. They don't come to Arsipalim Takapalam. So that solidarity building is still very, very, uh, very absent, very much absent. Like Ganjamalari one, so they have one, but they, they may not cooperate so much with Thirunamale. They had a common enemy, so they cooperated a little. But Thirunamale people may not show that good uh, respect for Metur Padga Pekam. Metur Padga Pekam will not show much goodness for Kitsipali and Padga Pekam, where this garbage yard is there, solid waste management is there. So the solidarity thing that has to be triggered is, uh, I don't know, that's the biggest challenge. And to, to take on that challenge, I'll, I'll come back to sustainable development now. With sustainable development, we have been able to build 50 green businesses. Now I've offered jobs to two Loyola College MSW students. Uh, I'm just talking to Kriba about it. I've offered them 10,000 rupees to organize camps. I'm finished, not finished yet. I've, I've, I've given them 10,000 rupees on a diminishing rate of salary basis. The deal is they will join me, they will get a salary for a few months, six months. After that, their salary will diminish. But in between the six months, they will have to farm in two acres land, for which I will give them loan also to their farms to be financed. They will have to start one green business. The green business also will be financed. And once the green business and the farm starts getting them returns, the salary will come down. So that's the deal now. So they will have to work. And because when they address students, when they address students, they also need to address it hard. You just cannot have PowerPoint presentations made out of internet uh, bought in photographs and just glossy pictures made, no? So if they want to internalize the whole goodness that we are trying to take in, they will have to live that life and then talk to the students about it. And this space, Cop Forest, is one place where, uh, please look into Cop Forest. We have a stream running now. A stream is running around uh, for two kilometers. This stream is giving water to three villages, where these three villages are now having three crops a year. And most of the people who have gone for migratory labor has, have actually returned and restarted their farms. And to do this, it has taken us 17 lakhs. 17 lakhs on a 250-acre farm, which is very low. Believe me, ask Hiruba. How much a farm will eat away? He would have put one well for two lakh rupees. And for 17 lakhs, because it's a cooperative model, I, I, have, I have water around for 150 wells. That's what we calculated. Yeah? 150 wells of water that is what we have in this cooperative forest. And this is one, one earthen bun that we have done. One earthen bun that we have done, and we have planted bamboo on both the sides. This bamboo is six months old when this picture was taken. Uh, the only reason is that this whole belt is a dry belt. If you can see around, this whole dry belt, uh, we have dug pits in between, put a lot of boulders inside. This we call a dew trap, so that we water only in one place. So that's zero evaporation. So we have done hundreds of techniques like this in cock forest. It is my trade secret, so you people have to give me 250 rupees for a two days camp. <laughs> only then I'll share all that information with you. 250 for a two days camp. And we will give you food also on that. <laughs> so, 
So, tell them where is the next camp? On Facebook. You have to follow me on Facebook. May 18, 19, this is the camp. So, so what, what happened because of this very small, small techniques? And beyond that, if you can see those princes, they have done 800 princes of those sorts. So, on undulated, I, I was not supposed to talk about it, sorry. I'm not talking about it. <laughs> so, that, 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 that will keep for later. But again, sustainable development, we have broken the key. So, with very little investment, the amount of employment, the amount of production that we can do, and this is real time production. Huh? Agriculture, forestry are real time production. Baki sab bakwas hai. Baki sab is a, is a myth, is, is from renewable, from, from non renewable sources. When you produce some non renewable sources, when you, when you put on this AC, when you put on these lights, when you put on this kind of chandeliers, when you put on this kind of construction around, this is not going to sustain at all. This is, uh, this, this is falsified notions of development that is dragging us down the doom. Only a few people are uh, making money out of it. Now, why are only a few people, uh, say, two crore people were employed in, 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 in the year 1992, according to the Ministry of Commerce. Two crore people were employed in 2009. The same amount. So the amount of employment, the only thing that has happened is the private sector has taken over the government sector. The, 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 the employment ratio has not increased. What has again increased is these two crore people, out of two crore people who were employed in the government sector earlier may have been paid less in the government sector earlier. Now the private sector is paying them more because somehow you are printing money more. So this economy is bound to fall, it is already falling. 2008, the big boom came, sorry, the big, big what, what was that? It, it, it went on bust, somehow wars fueled it, the wars came, I, I would not like to go deep into it, but a few people are able to play the havoc around us. It will take little lesser or far more fewer people to stop this mode of destruction. But how do we bring them on board at all? Now for me and Jairam, I would not go with him because his name is Arpuri Ekam, my name is Salem Citizens Forum. So his brand he has to have, my brand I have to have. We cannot, no? Good people only have their brands to hold on. So these, there can be never unifying factor among good people. History will say that. We cannot, we cannot come on board, one board. Because the only thing that we hold is that flag that we have. So being that, for me, for me the solution is only lies with the people. Like people have to mobilize, people have to be vigilant on their own. Now on their own why people are not vigilant, on their own why people are not fighting against the system, on their own why people are not fighting against injustice is because of faith. We have been taught, we are very strongly in, inside our genes that there's someone doing wrong and there's someone punishing him outside. Punishment need not come from inside. God has created this earth and God will take care of it. Those who will do wrong will be punished by death. And Christianity is very clear that Jesus has, in this on the cross, he's shedding his blood because he'll wash your sins. So you can continue sinning. Allah's Quran is beautiful. It writes very clearly that all this has been created for man to enjoy. So keep enjoying. And one day when you go to heaven, a lot of girls will dance with you, a lot of wine will flow. Hindus more the more. Ganga is the most purest. You wash your, all your sins in it and you come out and uh, you will become pure again. So by the time you die, you take a dip there and you will die peacefully. And the same Ganga is actually polluted to the core. The same is with Mariamma. Mari is the local deity in Tamil Nadu, highest number of temples have been built for her. Highest amount of, see, we do not lack anything. This country does not lack volunteers. This country does not lack resources. Where our resources are going, that is the big question. Where is our resources going to? A small village in Cop Forest, near Cop Forest, which is a dead end. There is a Nagalki Dam there, that is a dead end. You cannot go further. It is one remote place. You have to change three buses for a 60 kilometer trip itself. Now that place has one temple that has been built at a cost of 90 lakhs. 90 lakhs. And every year they celebrate Kumbha Vishnu worth 15 lakhs. Mukaleni still has 200 people coming in and shitting on its buns. 
not on the bird that we are controlling. We have, we have sort of, we have sort of pushed them inside. This people, this community called Goyers, are the people who build with Karigal, who put foundations, no? Uh, so they are called the Goyers. This Goyer community has built a temple for itself for 1.25 crores. And it's a Kaliya temple. And the Kaliya in the house shows her bums and sits in the lake. So it's a, it's a very tragic story. The people, it's not that people do not have money. People have money, people have resources. People come together and solve every problem. But the thing is, the misplaced, preempt feeling of goodness is been misplaced. Religion has taken over that whole sphere. Temples, then we have this Ravi Shankar, this Jaggi, this Mata Maritanamai, Nirmal Baba. Have you heard of Nirmal Baba? How many of you have heard of Nirmal Baba? What people? Nirmal Baba can be Shit. What's your name? Priya. No? Priya. Stand up. Baba is asking you to sit. Stand up, Priya. When did you eat samosa last? When did you eat samosa last? I don't know. Well, that is why. That is why you're not being blessed. Go eat samosa. Sit up. <laughs> this man, Nirmal Baba, look at Asa Jan. He makes three and a half crores every day. Three and a half crores every day. I'm not joking with you people. Just type Nirmal Baba on YouTube. <coughs> samosa, lal chutney, red chutney, red kachi, black purse, non-branded purse, what slipper, blue color, red color. These are the answers that he gives. One question, 3,000 rupees. <laughs> Nirmal Baba. This is Nirmal Baba for you. Mata Amrita Nanmai, if you look at Mata Amrita Nanmai, she, if you look at her memoirs, it will be written that when she was a small child, there will be some magical moment, no? When these people become very rich, <laughs> suddenly. Huh? Once, one fine day, she was, she was running on the beach, it seems, and she was singing in the praise of Lord Krishna. And suddenly Krishna appeared and she started dancing with her. And people saw this and they all started praying. And she became a very big woman. Fair enough, till that. Recently, a 25 page supplement came with him. She had given a 100 crore check to Amit Shah and another 100 crore check to Narendra Modi for the Swachh Bharat Pratya. No? 200 crore she had given in checks. So there was a special feature about her 25 pages. Mata says this, Mata says that, Mata says this, Mata says that, Mata Marita Nandaya, Mata, 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 Mata. Not a single word about Lord Krishna. Not even those letters, Lord Krishna. I couldn't believe it. Where is it? Where is that magic gone? This, this, I, I may sound, Nidhi scolds me for it, a lot of people scold me for it. But I may sound, I may sound very weird. But please, just, 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 just think, just imagine. Imagine. There's this Jaggi Vasudev sitting on large tracts of land in elephant corridor or whatever, but sitting and speaking in a very nice tone, you know. I am speaking very animatedly. He would, he would be very calm. Lord, you know, there will be music played around. <laughs> even if he, even if he is giving a... Oh, yeah, no, ma. What are you doing? Consumerism is good. Make money. Don't stagnate. Who is against wealth accumulation? Only fools will say that. Accumulate wealth. These are his very words. The way he says it, it sounds so divine. No? Suddenly, consumerism is being elated to them. This Ravi Shankar, there was a case on him that said, You are building on the flood plains. You are building on Yamuna's flood plain. If you could understand, if he, this bugger could understand what it means, he comes on national TV and he says, I am not polluting, I am not polluting. Then who said you are polluting? There is no pollution there. You are not supposed to build on flood plains. It's as simple as that. Flood plains are supposed to absorb water, be it drought or be it flood. I am not polluting, I am not polluting. He went on like a parrot. You show me pollution, you show me pollution. I am putting EM solution, I am putting EM solution. That's such unreasonable 
schools have become the largest organization of this world. Out of whom? That the, 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 the contention was of the thing is that you, the blood plays issues that you don't build up blood plays. That was the main contention. Obviously, it's polluting. You bring thousands of vehicles there, you bring 35 lakh people that was assumed to come there, and they all shift it is pollution. <laughs> now, these people have taken away so much of our resource. How do we bring it back? And if you don't bring it back, what? don't bring it back, you have this wheel of evil going round and round and round and round and growing bigger and bigger, and this wheel of ours seeking justice smaller and smaller by the day. That's a big trouble here. Justice world, can peace exist without justice? Can peace exist without justice? I give Kirpa Shankar a slap and say, hey, please, Kirpa. Is it possible? Earth is being raped, our women are being raped. Every day, every day in Haryana, in people, communities that have boundaries, that have land in them, like the boundaries in Tamil Nadu, every day women are being killed by the day. Fetus in Dharmapuri, 40 fetus have been aborted in one hospital room in a month. Single month, one single hospital. All landed people, all landed community. So much crime is going around just because of one thing. Well, faith system has to be challenged. And until we don't challenge that, until we don't address that, I don't think so we are going anywhere. We will keep doing our bits, parts, and of it, but this, this whole, someone had this comment about Amma when your session was going on. Why is she able to garner so much support? It's because people, people believe that a few people are above us. And why did this this whole discriminatory system coming to us, again with faith. Again with faith. You have this wonderful stories, no? Of Mariana Purushottam Ram. You know, North India, no? You have a lot of Ram faith going on there. Is Mariana Purushottam. Mariana Purushottam means the, the true, the true person who follows all values. His value was to throw his wife out, just on suspicion. Just, huh? just for putting him. Just for? Few years. For few years. I'm unable to send my wife home for one, <laughs> <laughs> one session. I don't know what she'll do now. You have, you have, you have such lame, lame duck stories going around, spinning tales around monarchy, to, to establish systems of monarchy, to establish systems of bad governance, to establish war, to establish the, all that is violent. So the solution is, as I have dwelled into it, as I have told you, it's my personal opinion, major worship has to be revived again. As done by the tribals, sustainable development is encompasses nature worship, activism encompasses nature worship. First, what is nature? Can nature be divine? Is one question. I'll finish it, Sarah. My time is done? Uh, yeah, 10 minutes of question. Yeah, yeah my time is done. So, uh, maybe for this again, this is a 15,000 rupees session, okay? <laughs> so, those who have to have this session, Need to come question with the 15,000 pay package. But anyway, to cut it short, nature, why nature should be worshipped and what is worship again? Do we do the same thing of putting a Ubati or ringing bells or how do we define it? So we are working on this design. I am pushing forward Mani Salam in a, in, a, in a very, very big way in Salem. We have done it. We have, we have established his legs. We are able to put the word Mani Salam. I came on a cycle rally from Chennai to Salem here. Sorry, from Salem to Chennai in a tricycle by name Mani Amma Uttar. Amma Uttar is a very common name that is directed at Jayalika. So people felt that I won't be able to travel even in Salem. But the campaign failed miserably. I came asking encroachments to be removed from all water bodies till Chennai. Uh, for two reasons they, uh, the, the thing failed because encroachments are being supposedly removed by the government. On Adiyar Kuo, they have displaced 50,000 people. But that is not the encroachment I was talking about. We were talking about land, pata given, the buildings built, the plastic thrown. We were talking about these kind of encroachments. But people have this notion that people living on the sides of river are encroachers and Amma is removing them. But the big success of the campaign was with this word, Mari Amma Uttaram had a big notice to go with it. Scolding the state, scolding Amma. 
I was able to reach Delhi without a single person questioning me. Not that we will not be noticed. We were covered in a very discreet by the media. Uh, next day, the newspaper reports carried our story. A lot of uh, media support was received. Word was going around about our campaigns. But they didn't touch because of that word Mali. And Mali, we have branded it. We are branding it. Because I believe completely in the dignity of water. So we are, first we made a drop of water that said Nandan Mali. Then now we are changing the logo as uh, Malaydan Mali. Mali is the rain. So we want people to again respect rain as it is, not Mali as in the temple. So that is our campaign. Now we are also building an Ayyappan Manam. Ayyappan actually has run away from his original abode. He has come to me seeking refuge. So I have given him refuge in Cop Forest. This is no laughing matter. If you want to meet Ayyappan, you again have to come to Cop Forest. So Ayyappan is there. And he invites people who come to restore forest, and he will become one with those people who would protect forests. He will be happy for those who create forest. That is only happiness. But only those who protect forest, he will be really in love with them and uh, become. So for now we have Mali and now Ayyappan. We are also working on Murgan. So he is not shaped up very well. So we have some disputes with him. We will be resolving conflict in a few days time. But Murugan was supposed to protect on the hills from mining. No? He lives on the Maluchi. So we have been working very earnestly, very hard on this. And, and I surely am a believer in nature. No? I believe in the divinity of nature. And I have been experiencing a lot of magic also. Uh, thereof. So if you would like to experience magic in your life, you have to join me. So that is all to it. So any questions I will. You're taking on MLAs, police, then the Matas, and the Ravi Shankars of the world. You know that, um, how are you able to uh, to fight against all these things? Because you get time. I'm assuming being on the road, there are many opposition, quite unpopular in their circles, in their supporters. Obviously, because if I'm not unpopular, then how would I <laughs> resist the fight? So when you expect volunteers, um, don't you think that they'll have this? You know, they will be skeptic, skeptical that you. Fight with big powers, and uh, I mean, at least I would think twice to actually come and join you because yeah, <laughs> you talk about not, not many people join activism actually. Yeah. Yeah. So that is that. That's so, the trouble with that. So is your work, uh, you know, it, does it go parallelly with activism? Are you totally like, is that what you do? No, for me, for me, every aspect that I take up, I look at two principles: pursuit of justice and emerging in nature. Whether they fulfill these two conditions, and we then take it over. Until these two conditions are not fulfilled, I sort of. I try to build a system around it, whatever we do. So that we take care of. And there are takers, uh, but for instance, like there were only 50 people who came to the police station the other day with me. So 50 people is a very small number. And if we sort of have a charity program, then there are 1,000 people who come. So those numbers matter. But those 50 people also know that makes a huge impact. At times, even two of us are able to shake up a lot of issues. These three people, no, you have three people carrying up flex banners, went viral all over the state. So that's it. Just a number above one added to us is quite enough. And with regard to threat, we have never had any threat till now. Very difficult because cinema somehow has affected our mind, yeah. <laughs> showing threat continuously, no, so that's feeling us threat. So it is only we have to call Miraman Yarun, he was the strongest muscle man. He had a lot of respect for our work. So, but we filed cases against him, mining cases were filed against him. Those who are following our Facebook page much earlier. Yeah, we will we'll continue writing about Virapan Yarnuga, collector. And the police, with regard to police, he continuously go to the police every other day. Sir, please arrest us. Please arrest us. Please file a case on us. Please, please, sir. They don't do that. Even now, recently, I went and surrendered to the police. Very touched. <laughs> I went with a written complaint against myself. I said I'm doing Katapachai and I'm doing uh, Kangaroo court business. Uh, otherwise, the law would have caught a thief who was felling trees. I intervened. I agreed that 500 trees is okay for cutting down five trees. It is a big mistake, I realized. So please arrest me. So that, that was a good action. So, uh, Jail is one single threat that the 
the state has. So Tamil Nadu at least jails are very good. Make a trip. My honest request. Make a trip to the jails. Nothing wrong about it. No, the only thing that you miss is your family. We can also organize jail tourism. You <laughs> <laughs> have some bad experience there? Was it bad? Not bad at all. One should visit jails. So here we go. And the kind of networking that you would have done, you cannot do networking. <laughs> There's no rich water nowadays. It's all drinking water. 